Um, if you could own, if you could only choose five albums, any genre, to place in a time machine, <laughs> which ones and why? All right, so five albums in a time machine. Mm, that's a tough one. First one for me, it would be the Heartbreak album by New Edition because it was an album that really signaled to the music industry that we are young men. We're not the same guys that did Candy Girl five years earlier. And then with the addition of Johnny, that really accelerated their maturity to where everybody now looks at them as the elder statesman for pop R&B groups because we look at all the boy bands that came after them and how they were the gold standard. So that's mm. album one. Second album, uh, Prince, Purple Rain, classic. Um, that was the album where I think he really hit the jackpot as far as finding that sweet spot between creativity and commercial commerce. And it's a no skips album from top to bottom. Classic album, so Prince Purple Rain soundtrack. Third album would have to be Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Because with that album, nobody really wasn't putting out protest albums like that. Because Motown was very resistant in putting that album out because they were all about making music for Young America where it was, you're not going to cross the line you're going to make music that's going to be happy and acceptable for everybody across the board. Don't make no waves, not even a ripple. And Marvin Gaye had to fight Barry Gordy to get that album made. And Marvin Gaye was proved right with that album. And that set a precedent for what was to later come with uh, Stevie Wonder and other artists that were at Motown that wanted to gain more artistic control. So Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Um, album four... I would go with um, one of my personal favorites, Phil Collins' No Jacket Required. Um, I go with that one because I know Phil Collins is a person that you either love him or hate him, depending on his solo stuff or his stuff of Genesis. But he was that perfect meshing of pop, great singer-songwriter, Got airplay across the board on R&B radio, AC radio, Top 40 radio. And just overall, a great album. And he's a great songwriter. So Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. And then my fifth album that I will put in a time machine. Um, I would go with, hmm, this is a tough one. Hmm, I'm going to put, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Kill Life. Okay. And that one, because like I stated earlier, how when Marvin put out What's Going On, that led Stevie to start to vibe for more artistic control. And he took a long time working on that album, and it was a double album. And once again, can't go wrong with any Stevie. So those are my five albums that I'll put in the time machine. Oh, that's solid. Solid list. 